Welcome everyone to our fireside chat on the critical topic of upgrading our customers in 4M3 on-prem environments to LTR, which is local technology runtime. I'm Mark McDonald, Associate Director of Growth and Partnerships here at Dopio Group. And today we have Umesh Patel, a technical solution architect and an expert in the field, having done a couple of these. Uh, he's going to join us and shed uh, some light onto why it's an essential upgrade for our customers. And we've also invited uh, Matthew Smith, who's our Director of Managed Services, uh, to speak about how we approach some of these, these types of upgrades. So welcome to you both. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I'm excited to discuss this important topic and help companies to understand uh, the necessity and the benefits of upgrading their M3 on-premises systems. Excellent. Thanks, Umesh. Well, let's start by talking about the current M3 on-prem uh, and LTR setup, what the environment is like, what are the aspects that uh, companies need to be aware of? Companies uh, using uh, M3 on-premises have traditionally relied on uh, InfoOS or XI platform for efficient data storage and retrieval. InfoOS or XI platform has been uh, a, a robust component, ensuring critical business data is processed efficiently within a local environment. However, the uh, technological landscape has evolved sig significantly. And the traditional uh, M3 on-premises and InfoOS or XI platform setup now faces several limitations such as security vulnerabilities, uh, scalability issues, and uh, the inability to leverage modern cloud-based features. I see. So what are some of the challenges that our on-prem customers uh, and businesses face with the current setup? Most importantly, uh, Infor is planning to phase out support for this current setup at the end of uh, 2024, which will leave companies without critical updates and technical assistance. In uh, addition to that, uh, the older systems struggle with efficient data management, leading to slow retrieval uh, time and uh, difficulties in handling large volumes of data. Uh, maintenance overheads are also the significant issue uh, as a uh, maintaining legacy system is both costly and time consuming. I see. So upgrading seems to address these challenges pretty effectively. So what do you see as the key drivers for upgrading uh, M3 on-premises to LTR? Absolutely. Uh, there are uh, several key drivers for upgrading. Enhanced security is a primary reason as the cyber threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated and uh, older systems uh, are more vulnerable to attacks. Upgrading to the uh, latest version of M3 ensures companies benefit from advanced security features, regular updates, and patches that protect against emerging threats. Scalability and performance are also crucial. As a business grow, there are uh, data data and processing need increases. Uh, upgrading allows companies to scale operations efficiently. Modern versions of M3 are optimized for performance, enabling faster data processing, improved system responsiveness, and uh, better resource utilization. Integrations with uh, modern technology is, is uh, another significant driver. The latest version of M3 offers seamless integration with cloud-based solutions and other uh, advanced technologies such as AI, IoT, Internet of Things. Uh, this integration facilitates the real-time data analytics, predictive maintenance, and enhanced decision-making capabilities. Okay, so the, the key drivers and support is, is starting to run out, but enhanced security, uh, scalability and performance, and then um, and then I, I heard you say the integration with modern, modern technologies like IoT and AI, um, mm -hmm. and those modern technologies that we get. So what, who measure this, what steps do we follow for a, a successful LTR upgrade? Yeah, so the first uh, step is assessment and planning. Uh, conduct a thorough assessment of uh, the current system to identify gaps and uh, areas that needs improvements. Develop a detailed upgrade plan that includes timelines, resource allocation, and uh, risk mitigation strategies. Next uh, is data migration. Uh, ensures a, a smooth transition by carefully planning the data migration, which involves cleaning up existing data, mapping data to the new system, and conducting thorough testing to ensure data integrity. Training and support are also crucial. Uh, provide uh, a comprehensive training to employees uh, to familiarize with the new system and ensure ongoing support is available to address any issues that arises post-upgrade. 
Finally, uh, continuous monitoring and optimization are essential after the upgrade, continuously monitor the system performance and user feedback, making necessary adjustment uh, to optimize functionality and address any emerging issues promptly. Excellent. Thank you, Amesh. Well, Matthew, I want to bring you into the conversation at, at this point. I, I feel like this falls under uh, the, the broader Topio capability of managed services and, and managing disruptive changes for our clients. So can you tell us how Dopio manages disruptive changes when they're announced uh, by Infor for either for M3 or just in general for our clients? Yeah, as Umesh mentioned before, as an Infor Alliance partner, our team at Dopio receives the announcements of the changes from the Infor team. Okay. Our team proactively works on impact analysis and makes assessments of the possible or potential risks involved in such changes. Then we make recommendations to our clients and assist in implementations when asked to avoid any roadblocks or critical business impacts. At Dopio Group, we provide a comprehensive service for both on-premise and in four M3 cloud suite environments to manage these types of disruptive changes, ensuring that our clients can swiftly and effectively respond. Whether it's an on-prem change like the LTR upgrade or a cloud suite release that happens twice a year, we follow a similar process to make sure our customers avoid business impacts and are ready to take advantage of, of the new functionality and features. Excellent, Matthew. So similar process either way, whether it's on-prem uh, and it's a specific upgrade or if it's uh, one of the twice a year cloud suite releases. Um, so very similar process for both. Well, to wrap up, Umesh, I guess I'd like to ask you, you know, what would you say to companies that are still on the fence about upgrading uh, to LTR? Yeah. So upgrading is a strategic uh, step for companies operating on, on uh, M3 on-premises and using Infor OS or Excel platform. The benefits of enhanced security, scalability, integrations with modern technologies and regular, uh, regulatory compliance make upgrading a priority this year. By taking a proactive step to upgrade, uh, companies can future-proof their operations, achieve cost efficiencies, and provide their employees with the tools they need to succeed in competitive business uh, environment. The time to act is now. Upgrading uh, M3 on-premises system with LTR is not just a technological upgrade, but a strategic investment in, a, in the future of the business. I see. Well, thank you very much, Umesh and Matthew, um, for those insights and for your time today. Thank you to everyone who uh, who joined us uh, watching uh, this video. If your company needs to upgrade uh, to LTR before the end of the year, uh, please get in touch with us uh, at the contact form, topiogroup.com, and we'll see you for our next fireside chat. Thanks very much, everyone. See you later. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.